we're going to go fishing. Hopefully for some trout or some catfish. Just hoping to catch something. Put my Canadian neck crawlers on there. Can you hear me? Yep. Still you slimy slimer. There you go. He's hooked. Uh-oh. There we go. First cast of the day. I'll be back to let you know how it goes. I got my son's old 30-year-old fishing pole down there. Try to catch something on that. He was a little boy I used to take it. Alright, come on board in and let us sit there. If I get something, I'll let you know. If not, I won't tell you. Alright, I'm not catching it. Hi again. All right, last week I got skunked. Didn't catch anything, so I didn't tell you like I promised I wouldn't. Today we're gonna try some power bait, some Berkeley glitter power bait. We're gonna try that. Plus I got still got a night crawler on my boy's 30-year-old pole over there. So we're gonna see what happens. It's early in the morning too. Here we go. Now again, if I don't catch nothing, I won't let you know. If I do, I will. Alright, sit here and drink some coffee. Let's be back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Trout, reel, reel it in. Still on there? Yeah. Reel it in. Get it up here. Get ready to bring it up here. Huh? Get away. Come on, reel it up. Oh. Yeah, bring it up. Bring it up here. Up here on the dirt. Up, up, up. Alright, oh. bring it up. Oh my god! <laughs> Look at this. My cameraman got one on the power bait. <laughs> power All right, bait. Yeah. Trout, we're gonna eat you. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, hang on, let That's me get that nice. off. Oh, today I caught one so far. See him? Not bad. I don't know if it's enough to eat with the other one she caught. We're still trying. Tried power bait, tried night crawlers, tried lure, salmon eggs. But I'll try a little bit more. Okay, here's our one fish we caught today. This is the proper way to clean it. I'm not going to show you all of it, but first you take off the tail about there. Put a sharp knife, a little crunchy. Then we're going to take off the head right behind the gills. See? I don't know if you want to see this or not. But I'm going to cut the head off here, and then there's a hole down here. Stick that in, slide it up, and clean out the insides, and rinse it with water while you're doing that. Alright, I'll show you after I cut the head off. And here he is all cleaned out. Nice and clean. See? Cut it, like I said. Go to the sink or a bucket of water and clean this all out. This will be all dirty. Guts. Oh, that's going to be good on the grill maybe later. What's the other one? Okie doke. Oh my gosh. 
Oh my gosh, look how huge that is. Rainbow. Oh, beautiful. Woo! Oh, nice. Get my phone camera. <laughs> I'm way to fish at the post office. <laughs> I didn't see no sign saying, go away to fish. You know how to do that? The weight is one pound. Is this the weight right there? Yeah. Does this mean one pound? Uh, I'm not sure the neighbor. Alright, now it's time to eat the fish. See, it took a few weeks to catch them. I probably even look different. But we got three, that's enough, especially with this big one. Nice big 16 inch there. Put a lot of butter inside. Use your hands. We're going to cook them on the grill with foil. You could bake them or fry them or whatever you want to do. We're going to put the big one on first and then. Five minutes later, put the small ones in. They're not that small, but it's gonna be good. Should have had a napkin. Let me wash my hands. All right, clean the butter off my fingers. This is rainbow trout, as you can tell. I just woke up from a nap. I'm sorry. Some salt in there. Whatever you like, in or out, in and out. I guess this is the time you don't want these twisty salt shakers, huh? Cut it, cut in there. Pepper. Or whatever you want. You can put lemon or lime. Whatever you like. Garlic. I'm just gonna put garlic in these. Dill. Dill weed. That's gonna be good. Okay now. I said I'm gonna put this one on first. This is bigger. And we want a internal temperature to be 145 at the end. And the grip to the grill. In about three weeks' time. Let me wrap these up right now anyway, too. It's gonna be good. Rainbow trout. Did I mention it? We'll check on them in a little bit, take the temperature and eat them. Mm. Alright. That's the big one. It's been about five minutes. Put the two little ones on. I'm gonna try to get them done equally, you know, at the same time. Should be good. I'm going to take the internal temperature. I want it to be like 145. 150. 58. 60. That's the big one, so we know these got to be good. 42. 145. Make sure I'm in there. 54, alright, that's probably alright. I'm gonna roll them around a little bit and then I'll put them on a pan and take them in and eat them up, maybe. 
I think they're done. It's been about 18 minutes. A little longer for the big fish. Started burning my finger. Okay, I'm going to take them in and unwrap them and hopefully the skin should peel right off of them. I'm going to eat them with some rice and stuff. I don't know. Whatever you want. Okay, I'm going to unwrap the big one. So I'm going to eat that one. Hopefully the skin should peel away. No, it didn't. Oh yeah, look at that. See? That's gonna be good. Trout, rainbow trout. All right, let me transfer this to my plate. Let's look at one of those smaller ones too. Look at that. Okay. Whatever. It's gonna be good. Let me see. Flaky. Should be flaky. Good. All right, I'm gonna put them on my plate. All right, here's my nice trout dinner. Little tiny bones in there. Careful you don't get none of them in your mouth. If you pull them apart like this, so you get nice pieces, then you can uh, pretty much eliminate the bones, except for that one. Pretty good. Maybe a little more salt here or butter. Got some rice, and peas, and vegetable mixture. So anyway, that was a lot of work for three fish in one meal. But we're gonna do it again, I guess. That's good. Go catch yourself some. Cut them up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.